This is the first LRB23 in the country for Australia and first of its sort of iteration in the world. This is basically a really redesigned mast from our older models of this style of drill rig. So it's quite a revolution in comparison to our previous generation. First, we're gonna move the crawlers into the working position. So we'll use the radio remote control so you can move the tracks out completely with the remote itself. Um, so we don't have to be in the cab for the whole process. So the operator can basically be their own spotter. So there's our Kelly rope. So our Kelly system has a nominal pulling force of over 20 ton. And this is our crowd rope. So our crowd system has over 30 ton nominal pulling force. So now we're gonna extend the foldable part of the leader. So this allows us to have a shorter configuration for transport, especially when going through tight city, urban areas as well. This is the Kelly head for our Kelly winch system. This is completely redesigned compared to our old designs, which would have been at the top of the leader or the mast. Um, and now we've moved it back into the leader system itself. And this is telescopic. So we have three positions, one for parallel pull, uh, for CFA and double rotary modes. And we also have a Kelly mode as well, which extends the drill axis out further. Next, we're gonna move the Kelly head into position for double rotary. So it'll be really close to the mast for our parallel pull. And then we'll raise the mast up so we can then tension the ropes, ready to stand up the leader. Now we're gonna mount the rear counterweight, the largest of them, so we can transport the machine. This counterweight also has the rear support cylinders as well for double rotary and CFA modes for rear support and unstable ground. The rear supports allow just increased stability on unstable job sites. Fit of the double rotary to the sledge. As you can see, it's got a, a nice stand as well, so it allows the customer to easily transport the drill drive, lay down on the truck, uh, and come to the job site, it allows them easy access to pop the drive on and off depending if they're doing a maintenance or service activity, as well as diagnostics or repairs if need be. About to lift it out of the stand, then we'll get it lower to the ground so we're safe to work on the quick couplings, hook up all the hydraulics and electrics, and then we'll also put in place the parallel pull, which is off the, the Kelly rope. Now we've hooked up our electric and hydraulic connections to the double rotary, we're gonna quickly function test the shifting cylinder and the drive itself to check that we can get maximum speed. Now we're gonna fit our stone guard to the bottom of our double rotary, followed by our piling gates. Fully extended the stone guard and now positioning the machine to put on the piling gates. Uh, once the piling gates are on, we've just made the hydraulic connection to the side of the mast two quick couplings, so it's nice and easy. Lastly, we'll check the drilling equipment plus any other additional equipment that is on based off the drilling process that you're currently doing. So now we're going to dismount all the DBA equipment and mount the BAT300 ready for Kelly drilling. Uh, we'll make all the necessary hydraulic and electrical connections and then we'll go straight into picking up the Kelly bar. So once the Kelly bar has been inserted into the drive, we'll, same as the double rotary, we'll do a function test of the drive. So we'll check the spin-off function, the rotational speed, and then you're ready to mount your drilling equipment such as your casing adapter or your auger. This is only two application setups on the LRB23, but the machine is capable of a number of other setups to really tailor the machine to the customer's needs.